guitarings. Once in a while, here at Guitarings, we get very lucky. And tonight is one of those special moments. We have a guest who's going to come on and he's going to blow your mind. He's the producer of the Tenacious D album. He's also a rocker in his own right. He's a shredder and he's an all around good guy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Guitarings, Mr. John Kimbrough. Johnny Kimbrough. Hi. Dude, up high. Down low. Dude, thanks for having me on. Psych. Uh, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> is it a dream come true? Yeah. You've absolutely. been a fan of Guitarings? I'm a big Guitarings fan. Oh, you are. I'm going to call you Fan Zero. I, you can think of me as Fan Zero. Now, John, for the Guitarings people at home, what is that racket? It's, uh, it's a struggling musician next door. <laughs> Wait a minute, he stopped. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he's trying to. He's trying. He's living the dream. He's trying to get better. John, tell us who the hell are you? Uh, wow, that's an unanswerable question. It is. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell him for you. I'm John, just a guy. John is one of the most uh, humble and modest cats around, but he is really a very extremely versatile man of the music biz. You started off uh, as just a regular sort of band guy, didn't you? Yeah, I started off playing uh, in a band uh, out of college. Uh, and that band's name was? We were called Walt Mink. Walt Mink. If you're into alternative, alternative, cool, <laughs> hipster rock, and you lived in the Minneapolis area, you knew who Walt Mink was, am I wrong? Yeah, you might be wrong, but you might be right. I don't know. Uh, we were like a power trio. Power trio. Thing. We were like a hard rock power trio. And then you wrote a Dude. song for Tenacious D. Yes. How and then I was asked to do, for you guys, to do uh, the 2006 Video Music Awards. There was like a little bit where it, it, uh, you quit the band. Oh, and my then, God. Yeah. And they then you the guys, band? yeah. And then you guys reunited, and there was a song that was written about. Wait for it, friendship. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and and you, why couldn't we write our own song? I have no idea why. Why do we need you know. to write a know. song, John? I don't know. So then I got the call, and I wrote your friendship song. How did that turn into producing the latest God. Rise of the Phoenix comeback Tenacious D album? How did you get that gig, John? Uh, you know what? I think I think. You know what? I think you were instrumental. Give me a fist bump there. Did I do it? I think you were the key part of it. I don't know. I have no idea. You guys get, got together, you talked about it, and you were like, we think. That's right. You know, once in a while I get to make a decision. I'm the guy. What's it like working with the D? So fun. It is pretty fun, isn't Super it? Super fun. I wish I could just keep working on this record forever. Well, we are. Let's find. No, we almost. <laughs> what are you talking let's about? Find you wish you could things. work on it forever. Let's find some other. How long have thing, you been working on it? Reasons that we could keep working on this record. Oh, uh, don't we've been working, on it. Record. Oh, uh, we've been working on it for a long time. It's been sort of off and on. I don't know. I might be biased, but I think it's our best album. It's right. awesome. It's really now we good. only have two. Out other no, records. You got you. This you guys made a really good record. This record's really really fun. Mm -hmm. 